Hello all, it's Lynn from Miss Kinky Creations and today I have a crochet U part wig feature. Now this is some hair that's, the hair that I used to create this unit has been around for some time. It is from um, the brand Sensational and it is part of their African collection. Now the curl pattern that I used to create this U part wig that I'm going to be showing you all in a little bit is called Corkscrew. Now this hair, like I said, has been out for some time now so I'm pretty sure some of you are probably familiar with it and this is what the hair looks like this is the packaging make sure the hair is focusing okay and then this is the back of the stock card now because this hair has been out for like a while now I'm not sure if I'm able to find it online because I did purchase it from my local beauty supply store. But if I do see it online, I'll definitely link it below. But um, they also have, um, Sensation has also come out with a new collection called Lulu Tress. And they also have a cork school curl as well. But I will say that uh, curl pattern is a little bit different. It is slightly looser and in my opinion a little bit more frizzier. But nonetheless, it still is. It still has like a you know a tight curl. So I went ahead and created a U part wig, and the reason why I'm showing you this video is just so you guys could see like different styles that you could do that you can make yourself that are affordable and that are you know quick and easy. Um, I would say this was a was an affordable style for me. I only used three packs of hair, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the cap that I used to make the wig. I use this cap here and I also purchased this from my local beauty supply store. However, if I'm able to find it online, I'll definitely link it below. But I'm going to go ahead and show you all what it looks like out of the packaging. This is what it looks like and it's a center U part. And it comes with, it has adjustable straps on either side and it has like mesh hair in the back. And then near the um, crown area, up top here, it has like lace. So the lace is, I wouldn't say it's that stretchy. So my suggestion would be you could use a regular crochet cap to crochet the hair on the mesh part, the stretchy mesh part. And then when you get to the lace part, I would use a smaller crochet hook just to prevent from ripping the lace. But anyway... I'm going to go ahead and show you all how the unit turned out here. So I have my mannequin. And this is how the unit turned out. So as you can see, it's nice and full. And this is how the top looks. I'll turn it around, give you guys a 360 view of it. That's the side, the back of the unit, the other side, and back to the front. So the hair is nice and full, and I feel like this curl pattern is really, really pretty. It looks very natural, and it does come in um, other colors, but I'll get into that in a minute. Okay, it does come in um, other colors. It comes in your solid colors, and it also comes in color number 27, comes in color number 30. I'm not sure if it comes in ombre colors, and they don't have the colors that is available in on the back of the stock card. So, um, but like I said, this hair has been out for some for for a long time now. So, you know, but I really like this curl pattern. I've used this particular um, hair from this collection a lot of times, and. People seem to really like it because it gives you that like natural like curl look and being that it's a U part wig you can always take it off and I put it back on um, this U part wig does not come with combs so you would have to sew your own combs but what I do like about this particular cap is that it lays really flat like it's not really bulky at all so let's say you wanted to sew it on you can make like some anchor braids in the front and just kind of like sew the U part wig onto your braids if you wanted to kind of wear this wig like throughout the week or whatever and also you know 
two strands for your hair to get you know for it to blend in with the curl pattern or if you want you could also braid your own hair down and then crochet the extra strands onto your braids to have a more seamless look so I'm gonna go ahead and take a strand out from the pack just to give you guys an idea of what it looks like so this is what it looks like sorry when I pulled it it kind of got a little fluffy here but this is this one here is what it looks like out the pack and then when you fluff it it looks like this and the hair does separate very easily when I made this unit I would say I separated it about two times well maybe one time I separated it depending on you know what I was you know depending on each section you could do like you could separate the hair one time you could separate it two times or three times depending on your preference but the more you separate it the more the hair does fluff out and you know create a little bit of frizz but I always say frizz does help us look more natural so towards the you know back area in the middle I did space it apart a bit so that it could look a bit more natural and I only separate the hair about twice when I got towards the front I took smaller pieces because I wanted it to be more seamless and I didn't want it to have I didn't want you know to hear it to have big knots showing you know since it's crochet so I did use smaller pieces towards the front but overall I will say that this unit was very easy for me to make it was very affordable and um, I just wanted to come here and just show you all like different you know simple wigs that you can make you know that give you that very natural look you know so yeah so you know let me know what you guys think like I said I'll definitely try to find this hair online if I'm able to I'll link it below as far as the U part wig cap that I use I know they have other caps that look similar to that on Amazon, so I'll definitely look for those to also link it below just in case anyone's not able to find this particular brand. Um, just in case, well, I'm not able to find this particular brand online to link it. I'll definitely um, look on Amazon to, you know, put the link for it there. So um, let me know what you guys think about this video. Let me know if it was helpful. Let me know if it was a hairstyle that you would try out or a curl pattern or if you have tried it, what were your thoughts on it, you know. Um, and definitely check out my website, lenskinkycreations.com. I have some new wigs up there as well and new styles. So, you know, definitely check that out. Don't forget to sign up for my mailing list to be in the know when I have new videos, coupon codes, uploads, and things of that sort. So thank you all for watching this video. I hope you all enjoy it and see you all in the next one.